Hi, it's Culper Woodhull, and I've got a Mako M2 system. It is an SFIC. So we can take it out with the control key. And also, I'll show you that. Sorry about that. that this lock does work. Um, I will not be gutting this because it's very difficult to, well it's not really difficult to gut it, uh, but it is pretty difficult to reassemble. So they have a system worked out, um, they've got, um, let's see here on our lock, our lock picking or the subreddit uh, of lock picking, um, there are pretty strict filming requirements, um, and I'm trying to click on that. You know what, I think we'll go over that afterwards, but uh, if you don't, well, either way, you need to keep the lock in frame at all times, so let's go ahead and make sure we don't mess this up, the easiest part, just keep it in frame, that would be an awful thing to happen, um, if you got it picked open and went off frame for a second, so yeah, make sure it works, and from that point on, keep it on frame. Um, now, this, the Mako M2 has is confirmed to have security pins. There are spools. There are serrations. There are, I'm sorry, serrated pins. Uh, there are T pins and anti bump pins. Um, also, uh, uniquely, um, which I found was pretty unique, uh, is the the key pins are actually security pins. Um, I've seen a few videos and they, they appear to be spooled for the most part. Um, so that makes oversetting on this particular lock um, uh, pretty interesting. Um, it's, it's different. There's a different feel to it. Um, it's, it seems like everything seizes up. So you really have to play around with this lock to get to know it. Um, I have not picked it to um, so yes, this is going to be a brown belt pick. I have not picked it to operational or operating. What is the term for that? Okay, so we have to pick the both shear lines, both to operating and control. I picked control multiple times, but I have failed to pick to operating. And it has to be in the same video. So here we go. I'm just working back and forth. There are six pins in the Mako M2. I'm not sure if they have any future plans to move it up to six. But and we've lost our tension. Tend to forget that quite a bit. We'll start from the back this time. And we got some bricks on six, I think on five or four, three. Got something there on two as well. One, let's go back to six. Nothing. And five, four, give us a click. One gave us a little bit of core movement, I think. It's 
two, three, nothing. Six there, five, four, three, and one. It's five. A little core rotation. I'm sorry, that was six. Core rotation. there and there's two or three everything seems seized up oh there we go and that's a pick to control bring her out to show you okay come back in we're gonna lock her back up Show you with the control key in. And it's not coming out. I'll open it and close it. Okay. Um, and I'll just go ahead and show you that the lock does still work. And now we are on the hunt for the operating shear line. Um, very tough to get on this lock. spoke to someone on the lock picking discord um, not sure who exactly but he said he was working with Mako locks um, he said that it was actually designed to be easier to pick to control than to pick to operating so And that's an open. I can't believe that just happened. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Uh, this is the Mako M2 system. And that was picked to both control and operation. Upper, I always mess up on this. Yes, picked to both control and operator. And I will go ahead and walk you through, through the steps. Um, if you do not want to pick it so first of all stay in frame um, we are going to show you the keyway that's the first step so that that could be identified 
and there is an F keyway. Okay, clear open there. And I'm going to go ahead and close her back up. We have the keys, stay in frame. That's the number one thing you want to do. Uh, so two, I'm just reading right from the site here. Uh, use the operating key to show that the lock opens up um, with the use of the operating key. We've already done that at the very beginning. But just for giggles, we'll go ahead and do it. Three, if the SFIC lock in a lock body such as a padlock, we are using an old best lock here. Um, use the control key to remove the core. So that's what we're going to do next. Control key. Core is removed. Next is going to is number four. Use the operating key to turn the plug on 180 degrees to show to the camera that the pins are present to the holes in the bottom of the lock. Okay, so I'm going to use the operating key. I'm going to turn it upside down so you can see those holes. Zoom in, be careful on that. Stay in the frame. And you can see that those pins are there. Maybe just to get a little closer. There we are. Okay, and that should meet all the requirements. So number five, you may now put the lock back. I see, uh, put the lock back into the body or vise, but the lock must remain in frame for the, uh, for the remainder of the video. So yeah, so that was pretty cool. Um, Mako M2, very, very tough lock. It was the first time I picked to operating. Uh, definitely highly re recommend the, the Mako M2.